Hey everyone, welcome to Happy Cancer Tarot Channel. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. This is going to be for Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, I'm getting here judgment. There's some sort of judgment. For some of you, this may have something to do with like a legal matter. And for others, this could be a judgment. A judgment. But it feels like a judgment as it pertains to, it's like the, um, there's like some sort of issue with some people. And some sort of judgment being made around those people. Like I say, for some of you, this could be a legal matter. For others, it could be something else. But I'm definitely getting here something around a judgment as it pertains to some people. Yeah, see, you're going to get a message. You're going to get some sort of communication. Yeah, and see, even right here, this high honor. There's a battle. I feel like you could have been battling something. But you're going to come out on top high honor favor because i feel like favor in the law or even just your good karma it's like it's on your side it's on your side so even if you're going through a legal matter again you're going to get communication that you know it's all, like you're going to win put it that way you're going to win it's going to be in your favor We got family room coming through. Now that's about for me. That's uh yeah, okay, so something is gonna come out, cancers. Again, here is more favor. Cancers, there's something or there's something being exposed around bad health. There's is something that's gonna come out around health. Or if there's like a health issue, in, but it's in the family. Like if someone was keeping a health issue, a secret, it's going to come out. But I'm seeing, again, I'm getting here high honor with that too. And even sudden wealth. So it's like being someone's health issue, whether that's yours or someone else, like a health issue being exposed. But I'm seeing here high honor. It's like coming out. Um, it's like being in a good place. Like if someone's struggling with their health or if you find out someone in your family is having health issues, it's like they're going to it's, it's a battle, though. Like it feels like it could be some sort of battle. They're battling this bad health, but they're going to come out of it. See, that's what it is. They're battling bad health. They're battling that help and they're going to come out of it on top. But it feels like it's not uh, being, it wasn't told. That's, it feels like it was something that was being kept a secret, but letting it out. Letting out that they've been battling bad health and then winning. Overcoming it is what I want to say. Sorry, I went around the block. You got some changes coming your way too. I also feel like someone, whether that's you or someone around you, there's going to be some um, thoughts around relocating. Someone is going to be thinking about moving, thinking about relocating, or thinking about buying a new house or getting an apartment, something around that, or changing one's life. This could be about leaving a job. We got unexpected income coming in. Oh, look at here. Poverty to unexpected income. It's like going from struggling financially to getting some sort of unexpected income. And that's what this message too. It's right up under the message. And that's probably why someone is going to be thinking about changing, thinking about moving or going somewhere because you're going to get money in an unexpected way. You're going to get contacted around this money. That you're going to receive in an unexpected way. So it's going to make someone, whether that's you or someone close to you, want to move. And it could come through an inheritance. It could come through winning something. It could come through good karma. 
like some sort of way you're going to get some sort of like financial assistance. We got a house. Oh, wow. A house. A house. Yes, I said someone wants to move. Or someone's going to buy a house. Oh, God. There it is again. See, every, like the bad health, they was like that. You're right on track. Someone's bad health is being exposed, but they're going to overcome it. And then definitely hitting it on the nail with a house. Buying a house. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tell me more for cancers. What's coming in for cancers? We got here a coffin. So I'm seeing here bad health with this coffin. A end. A end with bad health. Let me see. Let's get some more insight around this. Because it's coming through twice. Uh, tell me about this bad health this second one because we also saw theft tell me about this bad health blow me you are not built to shrink down to less but to blossom into more what is this bad health about you know what I'm going to use a different I'm going to use I'm going to pull a card from there but I want to pull something from right here tell me about this coffin and bad health Why is it coming through twice? Oh, oh, okay. Let's see. I'm going to get the um, oracle out on this though. Let you guys see it. Yeah, we got here fire. There's something going on with the fire sign. A air. This is, this is something else. There's a fire. A airy Leo or Sag. There's something going on with the Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius with bad health. Tell me more. Again, that child was sitting right there. It wanted to come out earlier. What is this about? Karmic cycle, regression. Someone is being deceptive. Oh, I didn't know that. I wasn't expecting that. Cancer, someone is going to lie about. Now, the first bad health was a family situation. This other one, someone is going to lie. There's a fire sign that's going to be deceptive. They're going to come telling you some things, okay? You have a fire sign coming your way. This is someone you have a karmic cycle with. They may be coming to try to test you, to tempt you, because right here it says karmic cycle, back to school, regression, going backwards. So this is someone coming back into your life that you could potentially go backwards with if you deal with them. They're coming towards you, and I feel like they're going to be deceptive around health issues. There's some sort of deception around health issues. There's also some issues around children or a child that they're going to tell you about, but they're not being honest about everything. This is a frenemy. This is a frenemy of yours. And even if um, it's like it's going to be truth mixed with lies is what I'm getting here with this person. I, You know what else I'm getting here? This person is going to tell you, I just heard it. I almost died. That's what this person is going to try to tell you. But they're being deceptive. They're trying to play on your feelings. There is a fire sign that's going to come and try to play on your feelings for them. To try to pull you back into a karmic cycle. But don't believe them. They're going to tell you that they almost died or that they had this health issue. And again, it's going to be some lies mixed with some truth. But this person is really a friend of me. This person is really a friend of me. Why are they trying to pull you back? Why is this person trying? And because remember, we saw theft. Oh, oh, why does this keep happening? My um battery is blinking. Let me change it. I, well, it keep happening because I don't charge it, right? <laughs> All right. So yeah. Okay. So we got here this theft. So I feel like this person is trying to. They either try to do something to take from you. They could have tried to take your money for you or cause you to have some sort of money problem. But nevertheless. 
I really feel like this person is going to be deceptive and when they when they start trying to tell you about some stuff that was going on in their life. Yeah, we got here see protection. I feel like this was you being protected from this person. Yeah, this could be in the autumn season that you may hear from them around um, Sagittarius. Maybe in Sag, if you haven't heard from them. Well, yeah, autumn season would be Sag. Let's see. What else for Cancers? We got here morning. See, a conversation. They're going to tell you, they may even tell you someone passed away. That's that's how much they're going to try to play on you. They're going to, that's what I'm saying, like I'm getting here like a sob story. Here comes the incoming call. They're calling you and they're going to be telling you about some sort of sob story. How they lost someone. They could even, this person could even say they lost like uh, someone in their family. And maybe they did, but they're going to try to use that. Like I said, they're going to try to use that to um, prey on you. Pray, P-R-E-Y, to pray on you, to cause some sort of betrayal. Let me see. Tell me more about, uh, I'm just going to pull my card around this. We got, see, Reaper, permanent ending. This one came out like this. This is the Reaper, a permanent ending. I, I don't like that energy, y'all. I'm going to tell you this. I don't really like it. And what I mean by, even though I feel like this person is, is a friend of me and they're coming back deceptive, whoever this person is, I feel like, I don't feel a good energy around their ending. It's like, I don't know if this person just has like a knack for doing things. I keep getting something not good happening for them. I feel like, yeah, they may even, because they're going around lying and doing this, something may happen to them. That's what I'm saying. I don't like I don't like that energy with them. It's like they better stop doing this because it can it can hurt them. It can hurt them. I really don't like it. Maybe they're coming. I don't, I don't know, guys. I just I don't like their their energy in the sense of I feel like something could happen to them because they're they're doing this stuff. Let me see. Anything else? Well, I want to know why. That's why I want to know why does Cancer need to know about this situation? What healing healing you've been through and look protection oh I see why the cancers no wonder no wonder first let me read this and I'm gonna tell you why healing you've been through a difficult initiation which has prepared you for your role of a healer don't doubt your power I feel like this person was sending you an evil eye wishing evil on you wishing something to happen to you you are protected from the tongue I told you you got a friend of me from the tongue tongues plural this could be even for plural that are not wise People sending death threats, like, you know, that's what it feels like, saying nasty things to you, wishing ill will on you. And that's why I keep feeling like what they were sending and wishing upon you is happening to them or your family. Like, they could have been sending evil eye or, you know, wanting you or your family to be sick, but it's, ha it's going to happen to them. Because they're deceptive, coming in with a sob story. And that's what I'm saying. They need to be careful because it's going to come on them. Heart, playing on your heart. That's what I'm saying. Playing on your heart. Playing on your kindness. All right. I'm going to move on from that. Because this just, it just feels like um, reaping with someone reaping what they've sown. And going back to regressing. Going back to school. Not, pro not progressing. This person is not progressing. But anyway, back to cancers. You're protected, Cancer. So your family is protected. There's healing that's going to take place. See? There's going to be healing. So whatever they were trying to send on you, it's going to come, it's going to go back on them. And maybe even that maybe something is like affecting their family. Oh, all right. Let's see what else. They were playing they were playing with fire. Whoever this, whoever this fire sign or whoever this person is, it doesn't even have to be a fire sign. It is, this could also be indicative of someone playing with fire. All right, what else for casters? A message of concern. Okay, so 
you got we know you got message coming around unexpected money right then you got this message of concern i want to see what that's about what is this message of concern about for cancers oh okay uh hmm okay let me see what's this message of concern it feels like something spiritual why is that the queen of pentacles is coming in and then look the magician I feel like, why is it, you may get a message of concern around money, but she's the queen of pentacles. So I'm going to tell you guys this, you're going to manifest abundance, success, and stability. But even though you're going to have that success and stability, you're going to get some sort of message around money. Okay. But it's going to be some sort of issue though. Cause see, here it is. Another, see, nine of wands having to hang in there. So you got two messages here. We got one message and then a message of concern. You got a good message, but then you got a message that's going to be of concern. But the thing about it is this message of concern, I feel like you're going to be able to handle and or deal with whatever this message of concern is. See free and see having the pentacles. This is, I feel like that's why you're going to break free because you're going to get some sort of message of concern that would have otherwise kept you trapped, kept you a prisoner, keep kept thinking negative things about it. But the thing about it is it's going to be nothing to you because you're going to have all the coins. You're going to have all the coins. See, I feel like this is something, this message of concern that you're getting is something that happened when you were single. Right. But when you become this queen of pentacles, when you have all the abundance and, you know, money and your health is doing better, it's like this message of concern is not going to hold you trapped negatively because you're going to be able to deal with it. You're going to have the power with this as the magician, as the magician, you have that magic, you have that power to handle it. The skills, the resources to handle that concern. Tell me about cancers pick up where I left off at. Tell me about cancers. We got her justice. See, that goes that judication and justice. So you're, man, cancers, you're about to get some sort of justice that's going to make you feel really good. And we have here, this emperor, like I keep seeing fire signs. I just saw the king of wands and now the emperor is coming out. So some of you, uh, there could be, again, this, I'm trying to move on. And then here comes that, this energy that was over here coming in. I feel like you're going to be trying to move on to turn cancer. You're going to be determined to move on. But someone is going to really feel like they need to make amends with you. They need to make things right with you. But I told you, they're, they're not your friend and they're not doing it. Why does this keep coming up? Like, we're trying to move on. Why does this energy keep interfering? Yeah, see, get, it's over. Game over, cutting ties. So, I don't understand. See, you did that. Water. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You cut ties with this person. So, why are they steady showing up? Silver lining protection silver lining you're protected you're going to see the silver lining in some sort of injustice you're going to see even though this person tried to do something to you or tried to harm you i feel like you were protected and again here comes autumn this could be in libra to sag season where you're going to see yep see derailed this person tried to derail you and I thought the silver lining is you getting justice because initially you saw what this evil eye and how they were doing things to you. You were protected and you're going to see the silver lining. So I still don't understand why they keep showing up though. You lock your doors. That's why access denied because they're going to keep trying to come into your life. Lock doors, access denied, unavailable because you're going to be unavailable. That's why, that's why it feels like a persistent energy. It's like, I feel like saying, go away to this person. And they, they're having a hard time going away. 
That's why they're coming in because you need to con you need to be persistent in saying no. That's why. You need to be persistent in being unavailable to this person because they're going to keep trying and you're going to have to be stern. You're going to have to take control and, and be in your power by being firmly st standing your ground with them. Because I told you they're coming in with sob stories and they're going to be persistent. Like I was going through this and it's like, no, protect your energy, protect yourself and your protect your space from this person. That's why they keep coming in. Because if you give this person a chance, they're going to bring you down to their to that lower self. And I feel like even though this person is going to get mad, they're going to get mad when you're saying no. See? Bounty hunter, chaser, hot pursuit. That's why they keep coming in. Because you need to be firm and say no. Be determined to move on from this person. Yeah, see? Denial. Not facing the truth. Irrational. They're going to have a hard time facing the truth. That it's over with. That you cut ties with them. And you know what else I'm getting here? There's going to be... You're going to have a protector. For someone out there... there and I'm, I'm talking about physically. There's going to be someone physically protecting you. There goes the phone. So I don't know what that means. You may get a phone call. You may get a phone call. Um, but I feel like you're going to have someone... That's going to be like an advocate for you. Someone that's going to be on your side, that's going to stand up for you. Like if this person is like, let's say that you were around them physically, this person will step in. It feels kind of like, I don't know, like a savior type of energy. We got here Kermit coming in. Remember we saw that Kermit regression, Kermit cycle. Decision. Yep, not able to accept your decision. That's why it was in reverse. A karmic that can't accept your decision to be done with them. Again, karmic partner. Because they've broken it off with a karmic partner. They broke it off with a karmic partner. And now they're trying to come and be with you. See, look at here. Soul. In reverse though. Moving, physical. But they're lying. Location change. I, they're going to tell you they broke it off with the karmic. But look, still married or still in a relationship with them. Not moving. All right. I'm going to leave that. I, I just feel like I don't want them. They're invading this reading and it's bothering me. Because I feel like that's what's going to happen with you. They're going to be bothering you. And you're, you're not going to like this person being so determined to get you back. And you're like, no, because you're completely done. All right, anything else? Let me see. Anything else coming, Cancer's way? Um, I'm going to use this deck. Anything else coming your way? Anything else coming Cancer's way? Karma. Ch toxic story. What, I t what did I tell you? You see that? A karmic. Even though it says karma, but a toxic story. That's what I'm saying. They want a new opportunity with you. But they're coming telling you some sort of toxic story. That's what's coming your way. And look, getaway. A getaway is coming your way. It looks like a passionate getaway too. Fun times. That's good, Cancers. I told you, you're going to have a protector. This could be that protector energy that I'm feeling. Wanting to take you some, I mean, g giving you a break. Getting away from this energy. Because you got a toxic story from a karmic coming your way. And then you have a, a getaway. A travel. A passionate getaway. Fun. You're going to have fun. Anything else coming Cancer's way? We got here a heartbroken. Cold hearted. A cold hearted person. Trying to control you because they're heartbroken that you won't give them a chance. Cold hearted person coming to try to control you. This could be someone that's actually younger in age or younger in their mentality. They could have a sporty car. And we got here. Uh, yeah, see, I feel like they're going to see you. They're going to see you going someplace with someone else. Travel. Fun times. They're going to have to see that. Again, travel. You're, you're going on multiple vacations. Yeah, because you're cold towards them. You've turned your back on them. 
and they feel cold hearted because they see you, they're watching you be with someone else. See? Triangle. All right. That is going to conclude our reading. Bye.